Good morning, Capricorn. Happy birthday to you. Hope you guys are having a really good birthday season and happy new year. I have Tarot the Mystical Moments for the main deck. I have Wheel of Fortune Tarot for the clarifying deck and the links to these de uh, decks can be found down below in the description box. So I have the Death card, Scorpio energy and the Knight of Wands reverse, Sagittarius energy. Nine of Wands reverse in the death card, let's just say this is about ourselves. Nine of Wands reverse can really be procrastination. And the way I best describe it is if you have this really powerful car and it's full tank of gas or a full charge and you have it in your driveway and it's in neutral, it's in park, but you can hit the gas and you hear rrr, rrr, rrr. But unless you put it into par to drive, it's not going to go anywhere. The potential is to go all over the place. But until you put it into drive, it's going to stay right where it's at. So the death card says there's an ending to that. You're ready to put yourself into drive. You're ready. You believe in yourself. You're ready for this. Um, there's no looking back and going back. And what's below Nine of Wands, Reverse, Seven of Pentacles? And the three, look at that. Seven plus a three is a Ten of Pentacles, but somehow... Almost feels comfortable, getting too comfortable too. What's this death card? What's below it? Ooh, devil and the king of wands reverse. Let's see if this is going to be a love, a work. What is this? All right, Cappy, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Capricorn. If you are a Capricorn, know a Capricorn, feel like being a Capricorn. Cappy, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Capricorn and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. It could resonate as the main story and Capricorn can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Capricorn or for Capricorn. Take it as it resonates. Collective messages for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Horizon, Venus. What is the story that needs to come out today for the Capricorns? What is the story that needs to come out for the Capricorns? What is it? There it is. Look at the magician and the star reverse. Ooh, four swords pulling yourself back, getting you back. A lot of four swords is the minor of the temperance. It's balance, rest and restoration. Well, rest and restoration is the same thing, kind of. What's influencing the four swords? Seven of Pentacles, but the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Something there's a bit, you know what it kind of feels like waiting on people to do right by you. I kind of felt that. With the Knight of Wands reverse, people who don't show up for you, they promise it, but they don't. And a Seven of Pentacles can be a lot of waiting, giving you a lot of time to reflect. And I feel like with this Eight of Pentacles reverse, see the butterflies? And on that death card, there it's full. It's a major butterfly, which represent transformation in your life. There's a major transformation happening here. What's the reason for the reading? Ooh, Ace of Swords and the Magician bookends. But this is what seven of wands reverse. Interesting. It could be you. And it almost feels like do not disturb. Um, people might be like, oh, you're hard to get a hold of these days, Capricorn, because I feel like your inner magician is revving up. I feel this energy within you revving and revving and revving like a slingshot being pulled back, ready to shoot forward. Ace of swords and the magician. It's just, it's beautiful energy, but I feel like it's solitary energy. And a seven of wands reverse is not really letting a lot of people in. What's in the past? Ten of swords reverse, aggravation, stress, people coming at you all ways. But these people don't help. That's what I get. I feel like they expect you to do something, but where are they when you need them? That's, a, that's like a knight of wands reverse and a knight of cups reverse. It's like, where are they when you need them? Would they do what you do in the time of need? What's on your mind? High priestess reverse. Um, I don't, when this is reverse, the major meaning of this is a red flag. But it's also what I feel here is you no longer keeping silent on things you're seeing, no longer walking on eggshells for energies. I feel like you are who you are. It's just like Capricorn is unapologetically Capricorn. And you're not going to apologize for who you are. What's on your mind? I do feel like some of you dealt with a player. I'm telling you, there's a lot of energy here. What's on Capricorn's mind? Yep, seven of swords. Somebody snuck into your life and you see how they're full of flowers. I feel like this is that knight of wands reverse. They made you feel like they were somebody else. 
They lied to you. They manipulated you. And I, it's interesting because I always say this feels like a four of pentacles, which is your card, the way she's holding on to our own investment, but leaving your investment down here for anyone to stub on not really caring about you at the end of the day, as long as she gets what's good for her. So I feel like, but they say what they have to say and do what they want to do to get what they want. And there is a red flag here dealing with these type of energies. There's somebody who is very manipulate, man, manipulative in your life, near future. And I think you see them really clearly and you're the one ghosting them, pulling yourself back. What's in the near future here? And I feel like this person might be really nervous because they're not hearing from you. Maybe they need something from you and you're like, you know what, go do it yourself. Near future, five of swords, same energy. Who, I, you know what I feel? There is a devil here and it's not you Capricorn. You are dealing with a devil-like energy and it's not you. This is a very, very manipulative energy and I think you see them clearly, but I think you, for a long time you wanted to see the best in them. Four Swords, center of the reading. What is this? Libra and Energy, Four Swords, center of the reading for Capricorn. Seven of Pentacles, reverse, and the three. Now it's reverse, same two cards. Look at this, a lack of money. I feel like somebody feels like they're owed. And now they're worried, Nine of Swords. But you know what? Their worries are no longer your responsibility or your cares. Oh my gosh, Ten of Cups. Your cards are just flying out. I feel like you're just like, you know what? Do it yourself. I'm not, it, it could be a family situation or friends, whatever this is. But I just feel like somebody was manipulating you for a while. And you're just, you, you, I, here's the thing. I don't think you didn't see it. I think you did see it. You just didn't want to say it. There's a, manipulators are so shallow because because people don't call them on it, they feel like they're actually outsmarting them. But the wiser people really don't say it. They st they stay quiet. And just because somebody doesn't say it doesn't mean they don't see the bullshittery. You know, you all you saw it, but you also saw their good side. You saw their immaturity. You saw their young soul, and you're just trying to maybe guide them or trying to do the right thing, and maybe they'll do the right thing. But it just never clicked with them because there's a lack of self awareness going on here. Eight of Pentacles reverse. What is that about? Virgo energy. Okay. Look at that. Knight of Wands, Justice reverse. One second, Cappies. There's a card that fell. That's This is where it fell from. Five of Cups reverse. Five of Cups reverse is no longer worried about what can't be changed, worried about how somebody makes you feel, not even wanting this energy back in your life. Five of Cups reverse is love. Two of Cups um pure and simple I think you're just like I think you guys are finally on that horse no longer procrastinating something some of you it's not procrastination it it's literally somebody was wasting your time and I feel like whoever is wasting your time is really really stressed justice reverse and the three of cups It's, it's like maybe they thought they would hear from you and they're just now realizing you're not coming back. Is that what it is? Page of Swords reverse, Seven of Wands reverse, Six of Cups reverse, and the Ten of Swords. I, I'm getting that, Cappies. I feel like somebody thought you'd be back. Like you needed, you, that you never needed them. They needed you. You tolerated them. There's the difference. What's the Ten of Swords reverse? Six of Pentacles. They want it easy. And you're like, you know what? Go do it yourself. I'm not, I'm not here for that. High Priestess Reverse and the Seven of Swords on your mind. It's the Sun Reverse. And you know with this energy, when's the last time you felt good around them? I feel like there was major toleration. And they thought it was admiration because I feel like it's a you dealing with a major narcissist. You tolerated them. They thought you admired them. You left them, they figured you'd be back and you didn't come back. And they're wondering, Five of Swords, when is Capricorn coming back? I need Capricorn's energy. I need them to do something for me. And your Capricorn is off living their life. Seven of Cups reverse fell out. Let me get it. Your energy, I feel like your cards fall out more than anybody else onto the floor. Hold on, oh no, one second. It was in such a hard place to get to. 
crazy enough. Uh, move the microphone back. Seven of Cups reverse is seeing something very clearly. And this, Five of Swords, the person who caused a lot of mental anguish, I think you see them very clearly. I feel like somebody hides behind a persona, but you see them for who they really are. I think you've seen them for who they really are, but for some reason you just tolerated it. Knight of Pentacles reverse to the Nine of Cups is saying, you know what? The show is over. Go figure it out. I feel like somebody manipulated you and you are calling. I don't know if you're f like by words calling them on it. I just feel like you're not coming back. Four Swords feels like a major fallback. Like you are falling back from this energy, ghosting this energy, going silent. And the longer the silence is, the more worried that you do see them for who they are. They are starting to realize that you you can't be, you're not, you can't be played. They thought, yeah. You're dealing with a narcissist. Hangman, reverse, high priestess. Moving on. I don't, I, I'm telling you, there's a devil here, Capricorn, and it isn't you. So I don't know who this is for, but this is very toxic. All right, guys. But you are free from this. Is that That's the key here. So all right, guys. Have a great rest of your week. Happy birthday and take care.